Mario and his friends took the space byway and merged into the Woe Zone. Known to some as the Space Graveyard, it was said to consume all who entered it. Just a little bit longer, we'll be arriving soon, said young Squirps. With his unblinking eyes glimmering, Squirps continued to forge onward. Would Mario and his friends get their hands on the Pure Heart at long last? Chapter 4-4 four, four. The Mysterious Mr. L Hey everybody, it's Silvershroom, and welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. We're here, Squeagle! This is the Woe Zone! Squirps has finally arrived, Squoodly! Squirps is here! Squirps can't wait, Squirps is going to scurry ahead, follow Squirps when you can. But remember, Space Grunts, this place is a super complicated maze. You'll get lost before you know it, so pay attention to where you're going, Squirp! Well, Squirps will see you guys later at the spot where the Pure Heart awaits. I can't believe that creature left us at a time like this. But I must say, I do feel the presence of the Pure Heart. It's somewhere in this zone. So, here we are in the war... In the war zone. The woe zone. The final area of Chapter 4. Like Squirp said, it's a super complicated maze, though. Not just yet, because it's just one door and a save block. Right at the beginning of the level. And I swear this weirdmoat said it was at 3 out of 4 battery when I picked it up. <laughs> These... Uh -huh, the weirdmoats are old. They're going... Garbage. And now, we saw some enemies like these back on the Dotwood Tree, but we didn't have Tippy then, so I guess we'll just scan all of them. Scan all the ones we can now. That's a Tyloid Y. It's, it is a mysterious creature that's made of many small parts. Max HP is 10 and attacks 2. It can also crawl along walls and ceilings. Tyloids vary in color and ability. This yellow Tyloid is known for its great speed. And that's a Tyloid R. It, Made of many small parts. Max HP is 15, attacks 2, crawling walls and ceilings. This red tyloid is known for its high HP. So, these tyloids come in different types, and there are quite a lot of them in this area. Ouch. What's in here? Happy flower. Said the yellow one's fast. Ouch. I'm not doing so well against these things. Okay. Now, you see this door? Your first instinct is obviously go through it. It's a door, but... You actually want to flip the 3D up on this platform because there's a door in 3D here. And this block is a slow flower. And took out that thing in slow motion. Ooh, new enemy. And even this is slow. <laughs> this bizarre beast is called a pig rhythm. <laughs> Everything about it is just odd. Max HP is unknown, attack is two. It takes three stomps to finish off this piggy. But each stomp makes it smaller and faster. It's very hard to stomp the last one. Pig rhythms often drop many coins, so you may want to hunt them if you're broke. I want to see if I can defeat this while it's the Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, it drops many coins. If I defeated it while it was slow, it would have been tripled. Uh, too bad. So to get across this gap, we're going to need Princess Peach. And go through this door. And come out here. And another new enemy. Uh, come on. That's a berry bad. It can shield itself with a strong barrier. Max HP is 4 and attack is 2. It also shoots rings of energy from its mouth. You can't break its barrier, but you can flip to get to places it might not want you to. So, as Tippy said, we're gonna need Mario. And we can flip to 3D, get within the boundaries of its barrier, and stomp it. And it 
this box, we have a dimension key, a key to adorn the woe zone. So, now I've just got to backtrack. But I'm taking you down. Else interesting here, but there are uh, there do appear to be other doors on the ceiling. We'll see what that's about soon enough. And now we'll go through this door. And by the way, flip 3D, you can see the hole in the top of the pig rhythm. It's actually a piggy bank, and they can move around in 3D, but only but they'll only do that if you go to 3D. So. Oh, the 3D kind of gives it more range of motion. By the way, can... Does Bowser's Fire Breath even work? Yes, it does, but it's invincible for a bit, so you can't just keep breathing fire to stun it. Now I've got to switch to Mario and see that this wall is actually stairs. down. It. Oh, come on. I was holding left and Mario just dropped like a rock. Come on. There we go. Ah! Getting my lunch handed to me. And I'm not a big fan of pork. Ooh. But I am a fan of that. Max HP went up by five. And, as you can see, there is a locked door. If you had just walked through here normally, you'd need to backtrack for the key. But, fortunately, I already have the key. So now we can go through this door. And come out on the ceiling. Uh. And yeah, I gotta press up to use Bowser's fire breath. Oh, come on! You know what, I'm just waiting for it to come back. There. And I gotta press down to enter doors. And now we're on the wall. Where we gotta press right to enter doors. <laughs> okay. This is a little disorienting. Now, there's a door right here, but... Like before, you don't want to go through the first door you see. If you use Peach, you can float over here, and there is another door. And now we've got another room full of Tyloids. So by the way, there was a... I believe there was a beta picture of this game... Of this... Of the Woe Zone. In a, in a, in the pre-release version of the game, no, not a pre-release version of the game, it was a screenshot of a beta element, it was a much darker woe zone, and Mario's actually wearing his space helmet in the picture, even though you don't wear your, spell, your space helmet or fishbowl in the woe zone in the actual game. Tyloids, because I can. Now, if you hit this block, it'll reverse gravity. And now we can go through this door. And now we're on the ceiling. Oh, bigger rhythm. Ow! Take you down. And now for Peach once again. And flip 3D over here, there's a door, and we are actually on the ceiling of the path to that first key. And actually, let me press it down to go through the door there. I mean, no, up, I mean. It was just the direction I was facing. Whatever. So, we're on the ceiling, and you'll see that behind that block on the floor, there is a pipe. But we won't be getting to that just yet. And this... And this chest is another dimension key. Come right through here. 
and more backtracking. By the way, I kind of want to know what does Tippy say about this area. When you get confused, remember that you can always stop and think. Uh, thanks. Right now, we can hit this block. Get back on the floor. And we can hop up here. Where's that last tyloid? Ha <laughs> ha, I thought you could escape from me. Now we're back in this area to the door that we skipped. And now we're on the other wall. Ooh. I know you dropped an item. Where is it? Oh my gosh, did it drop on, like, the... Where is it? Where is it? I saw it drop an item, but I saw it come this way. So where is it? Well, it seems I'm not getting it anyway. Uh, well, we can go over here. And there's another door. And we are right underneath where we found the key. So the key was actually right above the door that, that it goes to, but you can't get to it unless you can manipulate gravity yourself. And now we can go behind this block and into this pipe. And in here, coins. Oh, there are no more coins in 3D. Huh, weird. And as you can see in 3D, this is a coin block. Is there even any... Ah, uh, there is a floor down there, but there's nothing down there. Okay, now to unlock this door. Now we're here. Got another gravity changing block. here to a door-shaped white space cutting off the lines. And now we finally use this again. There's a hidden door here. I'll make it visible for you. Yeah, kind of a pointless room. But now we're in here. And we've got these hooligans. Oh wait, we've already seen these yeah, Hooligan. The red ones that we saw in space were Eeligons. And let's see. Over here, this block just rotates you. Ouch. Done. Come on. I am getting destroyed. Press to the side to use Bowser's Fire Breath. Now you can hit this block. And there's a door right there, but once again, go past the door. Aha! More of them. And I've tried to press down to use fire. And I'm still getting destroyed. Okay. I gotta use an item. Oh. You got a block block. A sweet barrier briefly makes you invincible. So that's that's the that's the item that I lost that that tyloid dropped. And uh, now there's a door over here. Okay, I'm sure I'll get healed soon. <laughs> oh, I can never use my healing items, even when I get damaged. I can go through this door. To come out this door. I think I can just have one of those blocks is beyond me. And that is a zombie shrimp. And 
another super shrine. Okay, now we're up here. And we can open this chest. Another dimension key. We can head back to this area. We can change the gravity again. And one more time to go into this door. And we've got a safe block right before that locked door. But I am actually going to end it off here. So next time on Super Paper Mario. We're going to see what is behind this locked door. See you then.